Okay, today we're going to go over the UIL number sense test, HS High School SAC, which is Student Activity Conference uh, for fall 2012. And uh, the basic rules that are that all problems are to be solved mentally and make no calculation with paper and pencil, and you can only write the answer down. Start problems or approximations. So I'm going to go over the first few here, and I'm going to enlarge this so we can have a better view of the problems that we're going to take a look at. And uh, number one is 2012 plus 2013. Well, 2000 plus 2000, that's going to be 4000. So I'm going to have 4,012 plus 13, that's 25. So that's 4,025. Uh, the next one, I'm going to multiply 2,012 times 6. I can do 12 times 6, that's 72. And then 0 times 6, that's 0. And 2 times 6 is 12. Uh, number 3 is 2,102 minus 2,012. The 2,000s cancel out. So I have 102 minus 12. That's the same as saying 100 minus 10. That's 90. Number four is 2012 divided by 5, and the answer is required to be as a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double the numerator and denominator. So if I double that, I'm going to have a divisor of 10. 2012 times 2, that's 4024. And when I divide by 10, that's 402.4. 3 and 4 fifths, that's 3.8. As a percent, multiplied by 100, that's 380%. 380. And number 6 is 16 squared. That's 256. Memorize your squares for number sense. Otherwise, you're going to wind up working those, and it's going to take a lot of time. 1 and 3 fifths plus 2 and 3 quarters as a mixed number. So I'm going to add 3 fifths plus 3 fourths, and if I do a cross product here, 4 times 3, that's 12, and 5 times 3, that's 15. I'm going to add 12 plus 15. I have 27 over 20. My denominator is 20. So I'll write 7 over 20 and carry a 1. 1, 2, plus a 1, that's going to be 4. 4 and 7, 20. Uh, number 8, you have 20 times 12. And 20 times 13, you could factor out a 20. So if I was to factor out a 20 mentally, you would have 12 plus 13, 25 times 20. If I take one-fourth of 20, that's 5. That's an even 500. Every time you multiply by 25, 25 is one-fourth of 100. 5.6 divided by a negative 1.25. I'm going to have a negative answer, positive divided by negative. And if I have 1.25, that's 1 and a quarter. That's 5 over 4. And if I take reciprocal of that, 0.8, I'll just multiply that times 0.8. So 8 times 6 is 48, carry a 4, and then 8 times 5 is 40, plus the 4, that's 448, and my decimal goes right there. Number 10 is an approximation, and on this one we're going to have 2,128, so I have 2,100 minus 1,000, that's 1,100, plus another 100, I'm going to have 1,236 as an approximation, and that's well within the range. So we'll pause it right here.